Yeah, this is a ghetto prayer. Praying for all of those who ain't got it. We gotta get it there. We gotta get it, yeah. Yeah, the people starving for something new. They starving for it. We have 27 programs here, and they're all focused on three core areas. One is academics, uh, number two is health and well-being, and the third area is economic self-sufficiency. So our primary focus is on academics, and all of our programs have a tutorial element to them, uh, and then all of our programs have a health and well-being element to them. One part of my job is running our HEAT Center, and HEAT stands for Health and Environmental Awareness Training. And what we do there is run the gardening and landscaping employment programs. So one of the things that I do is um, planning with Kim and Sherman things that we can do to enhance those programs. The garden program is part of one of many programs as part of BYA and so we hire teenagers ages 14 to 18 to work in the garden and it's an internship for them so they're learning and they're also giving and they're learning job skills, they're learning life skills, they're also learning gardening skills. The first time I started going to the garden, I was, uh, it was my internship and like basically I, I started working there for an internship at first and then it just turned into a job and Kim was like, um, we would love to have you work for us in the garden so would you, would you want to work for us? And I was like, yeah. And like she taught me how to do double digging, how to uh, plant um, irrigation systems. Another area that we're focusing on is green jobs. Uh, we're hearing a lot about that these days. The president's making a big effort to get us to move into this area because it's not only important for our economy, but it's important for our planet. And it's our job as a community-based organization to make that relevant. The garden is a place that almost any kid could come and find something to do and find something they might be good at doing, or at least they can have some success. And I think that's very important. And this past summer, I was uh, the team leader in the garden. So I got to, you know, lead the whole garden and show them how to do everything that Kim taught me in the past. You know, it's nice. You get to work outside. You ain't in the office. You know, you get to smell the fresh air and, you know, I mean, pick fruits and learn just a lot of stuff, you know. And, like, if I wanted to, like, I could grow my own garden. Like, I know everything, everything to do, what it takes, all that, what kind of soil you need, everything. So. Kim showed me a lot. The value in, in being a part of the garden and really making a difference and seeing, you know, when they plant a seed, they can see it grow and mature and take care of it over time and weed it and then they get to harvest it and they can eat it themselves or they might be sharing it with somebody else or giving it away to people who need it um, through our food giveaway program and I think it really empowers them to feel like they they have this power in them to make a difference and to grow food and to grow something that's valuable to other people. I mean the first time a kid pulled out a carrot out the ground it was like yuck but then when they washed it and they ate it, it was like oh my goodness it was worth it. The broccoli we picked in Kim's garden? Yeah. It was like the garden way over there well we had it for snack the day after that. It tastes it was, like it tastes like some real, real, real vegetables. Mm. Yeah, and we, and sometimes we'll eat it right after we pick it. Well, one thing is, you know, it's simple. You just put a seed in the ground, and if you care for it, it grows. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. And uh, then, if you have an opportunity to work together, you can translate that into eating, you know, this is the hard part, eating good food, <laughs> nutrition, and these are the things we are trying to do. One of the things that's really a, uh, a great benefit to the youth that we serve here is they're able to get wraparound services. So any kid that comes through our doors is able to uh, seek counseling uh, if they need it. Uh, matter of fact, we try to encourage that. Uh, what we found a long time ago is a lot of our kids have uh, undiagnosed mental health issues. And so by them coming here, getting engaged in job training or academic support, we're able to identify some of those needs and make an internal referral to our own counseling center. 
I work with the kids as a therapist, and a lot of the times we will take the kids and do therapy in a number of different ways. We go out and we, and we do and we participate with our kids in, in therapy, and sometimes that's art, and sometimes it's walking through the garden, putting our fans through the dirt, and talking about that experience and what, what that means to them. And sometimes they just need to have some open space to walk around. Um, so, uh, you know, that's primarily how I've used the garden, how I've worked with it uh, is as, a, as a venue for, for the therapeutic process. We call it wraparound services. We provide and how much it really takes care of the health of these kids in so many different capacities with their, you know, emotional health and mental, intellectual health and their uh, physical health and really, you know, nutritional health and really paying attention to all these different things that all are important to their whole selves. An experience of giving to grown-ups or to your community and getting to see your whole community enjoy what you've given is something that I think most even grown-ups don't get to feel, much less first graders. And they really got to see that that work that they put into cutting the bok choy down and washing it then fed not just them but their, all their friends, their teachers, their mentors. They enjoy harvesting and then it makes it special that they're eating something that they help to grow. So that's a real important component to our program. Unfortunately, it's a hard program to fund. I, I, don't, I don't understand that because it's, it's such a valuable program for our kids to learn to eat properly. They didn't have good food to eat. So I was like, we need to have a garden. Praying for all of those who ain't got it. We gotta get it there. We gotta get it, yeah. Yeah, the people starving for something new. We starving for it. Did you have fun at school today, Trini? Listen.